Now the Apple iPhone 4S has just launched in the UK and Apple claims that its camera is better than that found on the iPhone 4. So we've brought them both down to Regent's Park to give them a head-to-head -head test. Now on the iPhone 4S, Apple has increased the aperture. That means that more light will pass through to the sensor. This is great when shooting in dark conditions, as you can see in this shot of the sculpture. Apple has also increased the resolution of the sensor. This will give more detail to the shots. It's gone from a 5 megapixel sensor on the iPhone 4 to an 8 megapixel sensor on the iPhone 4S. In many of the shots, the images taken on the iPhone 4S appear to have a more natural colour. However, in this shot of the flowers, the reds don't seem quite so saturated. The increased aperture will also more effectively blur the background or the foreground, so you can take some nice creative shots. Apple has also added an extra lens, which should improve overall photo quality. But it's not just the still images that have been improved, video has also been improved. The iPhone 4S is able to shoot at full HD, that's 1080p resolution. The iPhone 4 could only cope with 720p resolution. There's also now a better image stabilizer added to the video, so when you're moving along, the shots are more level. So in our quick hands-on tests with the camera and video on these two phones, the new iPhone 4S is clearly the favorite in most conditions, but we'll be sending it to our lab now for a full test. And that review will be on our website soon, but if you can't wait until then, you can find out more details on this handset at witch.co.uk forward slash iPhone 4S.